So next up, uh, we've entered into an agreement, uh, working relationship with Nationwide Children's Hospital uh, Sports Medicine. And uh, they've got some things to offer you guys uh, that might help uh, not only prevent injuries, but also take care of any uh, injuries in a timely manner. And also some education tools that might uh, help you down the road. So, um, Michael? Michael's going to come up and speak. Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> I'll try to be brief about this. Uh, I was really excited when Doug came up to, to us and really try to get this partnership going. Um, definitely love baseball. Uh, so what we've done and tried to partnership with, uh, with Coyble, and I'm going to talk three big things with you guys. And uh, most of this are in part of your packet. So besides being just being able to treat, evaluate injuries, you know, one of the things that we truly do and for you guys as coaches, one of the big things that we have given you is a coach's parent or coach's sports injury guide uh, for you guys. I know as a team or as a coach, you guys focus on not only your teams, but just day-to-day -day operation stuff. So whenever there's an event when it comes to injuries for your kids, this is a really good informational tool, tool packet that gives you a lot of information, but not enough for you guys to be dangerous in terms of just trying to give it out information. So this is a great tool for you anywhere from skin abrasions to concussions to, hey, what do I do with a broken leg, right? Um, there's information for us in locations all throughout central Ohio. So this is really a good tool for you guys. But truly as this partnership is more, how can we help? We wanna make sure that, hey, you guys know that we're, we're definitely there, we're around all throughout, not only just downtown where the main hospital is, but also north side, excuse me, north, south, east, and west. Um, so besides the medical services, the other part that I wanted to discuss about is we have also what you guys have in your packet called a hotline phone. This is also a great, great tool for you guys. And if you guys have a parent Coach, uh, parent coaches meeting before you know the season start. This is probably one of the things I want to kind of make sure you guys address to your parents and write this number down and let them you know put it in their phone. What that is is basically as an exclusive partner to us. If you call that number, an athletic trainer will answer that phone to give you advice or triage a situation. Now, for example, triage. If it's truly hey, a head injury or a broken leg that's you know a bone sticking out, that's a 911 call immediately, right? What we're trying to do here is to save you guys the hassle or the parents hassle in terms of, ah, maybe I sprained my ankle, what do I do with little Jimmy and mom's concerned, call that number. You know, it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to be able to kind of guide you in a situation. Ah, I don't see any, you know, blood. Uh, maybe I see some swelling. You know, right then and there, we can um, schedule that appointment if need be. If, you know, we talk you guys throughout uh, to the call and it truly is becoming a, an emergent situation, then we'll definitely tell you guys to go out to an emergency room or uh, uh, an urgent care. So this is definitely for you guys seven days a week, 8 to 8 p.m. So this is uh, a great tool for us and a great tool for you guys so it doesn't become a burden in terms of uh, a health care for your athletes. Um, besides that, the, the other thing that we do, you know, from a, a sports medicine standpoint, as one of the athletic trainers there, I do a lot of therapy, rehab for our baseball and uh, softball um, athletes. And one of the things that we offer is a video analysis tool in terms of throwing. Our job is not to reteach and say, hey, this is how you're going to get below. Hey, this is how you're going to get really, truly power. But from a science perspective, backed by science, and truly what we see in an injury standpoint, these are the things that we need to hit in terms of for you to be able to play safely and be able to play and sustainable for years to come. So part of that video analysis is really kind of breaking down the seven steps into throwing, just general throwing. And if it becomes more of pitching, yes, great. You know, we'll, we'll be able to do that too. So besides that, we couple that with our sports performance uh, visits as well. Um, Coach Saunders earlier talked about the five P's. Our job is to really kind of develop each athlete as an athlete first before it becomes a specific to baseball and then baseball pitchers. 
Um, our job is to really kind of define, especially we see a lot anywhere from 10 to 16 year olds, and that's basically their biggest growth stage. So to be able to kind of identify all those weak deficits, whether it's a lower extremity standpoint into up into the shoulder elbow injuries. Um, so we definitely, you know, use that. Koi will also give us the opportunity to have a, a platform and having this uh, web page uh, designed for us. That web page is also a great educational and informational tool for you guys. Um, not only does it have the hotline number, which I encourage you guys to definitely use, but also we're going to try to roll out YouTube videos of just proper arm care workouts. And it's more just, it's just an informational tool, uh, if nothing else, to kind of give back to, hey, how do we really try to you know, make this better? So besides the educational tools, we also have Little League Elbow, Little League Shoulder information that directs us to our website, and, and hopefully we can kind of roll more as, uh, as in years to come. Um, other than that, the, the, the last thing I want to say is we try to not only properly diagnose injuries, but make sure that we kind of get them to that progression. Because um, I know we see a lot of just individualized or centralized all year long baseball players as well, but just being the athletes uh, was probably getting back to safety is what we want to make sure that uh, we come across. If you guys have any questions, I'll, I'll be around after the, uh, the meeting and uh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.